Hello, hello, and a wonderful day to you. Man, I really hope you guys are having a good time. I know that I am. There is so much information going out there today and so many things that are happening. A lot of activity going on here. Um, hello, hello. My name is Jeffrey. This is just a quick update because I, I've realized that things are happening so fast right now that we can't, I can't uh, get them all and wait to put them in a video because by the time I do, it'll be time to make another video and I'll have to do that like a lot. So I'm going to start doing some just impromptu lives and I appreciate it uh, when uh, uh, these things get out and you guys uh, comment and do all sorts of neat things. So anyway, uh, first and foremost, tomorrow there's going to be a corporate webinar, three o'clock. Check it out. Uh, Mr. Mufar is going to be there. We're going to have a lot of good information going on. So we certainly appreciate your attendance. Check it out, please. Uh, this this is going to be a little bit of a uh, of a hodgepodge, if you will, of information because it's it, it's just stuff that I've got that I probably need to uh, put out there and mention. Uh, first and foremost, you've probably seen what was going on in the back room. Uh, work is continuing as we get ready to get ready for the tsunami of activity, right, that is heading our way, uh, not only with our website, with the branding and the campaigns and the eventual, you know, the uh, the public opening that we've got, which is imminent, right? Now, uh, the website's had a few glitches here. Apparently, it had to do with uh, Onet, and the team has been working on it. Kudos. I mean, they're a hard-working, hard-charging team. Uh, but it did cause some glitches in the back office, like not being able to post in Onet or uh, not being able to send out an email broadcast. Uh, some folks couldn't change profile pictures, yada, yada. It's just stuff that happens. Hey, it's part of the growing process. And uh, life is good. It's all being taken care of. It's going to level itself out. Uh, patience is the word of the day. Now, quite noticeably, it affected payment for pending positions, which everybody was, man, I'll tell you, I got tons of emails and, you know, people were sweating, especially last night because we thought it was a deadline. But the deadline uh, for the 2020 positions have been extended. So we got a couple of days to get these uh, accounts out. Uh, this will never come around again, folks. So take advantage of this. Okay, the founder's position is closed. It, it closed on the 22nd of June. It's gone. It's done. This is the last dying effort you're going to have to become uh, or to get a founder account. We still got a lot of these pending accounts. Marty spoke about this a little bit ago on the 360 just uh, an hour ago. Um, please go listen to that. It's got some good information and a lot of good energy. You got to love those guys. I mean, man, they got it. They got it going on. Right. So the link is down below in the description box. Um to that, I've also got, I'm one of them that do have uh, pendings from May 2020. To get these, just send me a name and an email address at the uh, uh, email I've listed down below. And we've got products coming out. We've heard Mr. Mufara talk about this. Uh, they'll be out in the next few weeks, right? I mean, that's where we're going. There's a sequence to things happening, and that's in the sequence. Uh, several of these products that he's talked about are already done. They're parked, so to speak, meaning that they're in the queue for marketing and public release. Now, three of the first products out publicly are going to be Omail, Otrim, and Onet. These are going to be free products, right? The fourth one out publicly is going to be Oconnect. Uh, that's going to be a paid product. And each of these are going to have, you know, like, like everybody else and everything else that we do, it's going to have its own uh, admin dashboard and mobile apps and stuff like that. So we don't have to worry about anything. Anyway, everything that we see in the next couple of months are all going to come to a head to coincide with the World Cup, right? The FIFA World Cup. Now, there could be an announcement from On Passive bigger than the one that they made for the uh, Burj Khalifa, probably before the World Cup. But Ash is not going to announce it unless it's done. You know how the man rolls, right? Keep stacking the cool and rolling on. Speaking of which, there's a big announcement in the back office about FIFA and the World Cup. Please go check that out. Until you do, if you have anything on social media about um, – I just had a brain bubble. About – Oh, the, the World Cup and uh, FIFA. I'm like, F FIFA? Yeah, FIFA. Then please take it down. Um, 
we had something uh a lot of us had something up i know i got a, a message saying take mine down too um but take take yours down it, things have got to be done uh just just right um there are uh, specific guidelines that have to be followed so please go to the back office uh check that out um it's kind of a in in your face i mean as soon as you log on you're you're gonna see it but just un, just know understand on passive is talking directly with fifa and it is going very very well so there's nothing to be too concerned of over despite what you may see on some of the uh, you know, some of the idiot things happening on some of the social medias anyway. Um, we also heard uh, Mr. Bufara talk about the compensation plan uh, last Tuesday or Thursday. I, <laughs> days are running in. Um, and he told us, you know, I mean, he gave us like an earful. Uh, kept me awake just about all night. Uh, that was Tuesday, that, that long webinar that we had. I tried to go to bed. And I, I was back up at 1130 doing emails. But anyway, uh, he, he mentioned that it was a hybrid plan. And I thought, wow, I, you know, I wonder how many people even know what a hybrid, hybrid, well, a hybrid, hybrid, man, I'm tongue tied. I need to slow down what a hybrid plan is. So in case you're wondering, a hybrid plan is a combination of different plans, compensation plans, right? that uh, are beneficial from the standpoint of the company and the marketers or uh, yeah, marketers is a good word. Um, this type of a plan helps to grab more potential customers and on the other side, increases sales, which go hand in hand. Right. And this is true because you've got people with strong marketing or dare I, dare I say networking skills, right. They help grow the network which we're all about growing our network and people with strong motivational skills to help drive the sales and resales, right? We're going to be resellers. So when you put those together, right, the hybrid plan that Mr. Bufar has come up with helps create more opportunities for earning. And we are all about that. And we all know that non passive is all about that. And they are not greedy when it comes to profit. So life is going to be very, very good for us. Now, Mr. Mufar was also on, a webinar uh, earlier this week, I think three days ago, with Dr. Williams, Dr. Shaw, and others. And they were talking about AI and disruptive technology. In particular, Mr. Mufara was talking about, and the platform was uh, commenting on, Academy. Now, please go see that to get a good understanding of where on passive is heading, because he painted in very broad strokes a very nice very colorful picture of our future. And again, I put the link in the description box down below. But Mr. Bufar during this particular time also shared some new information, right? Academy is for academia and other professions, personal interests, hobbies, entertainment, you name it, we could probably use it. Now, Mr. Mufara also said that on passive has a sp specific department, right? And this, this department is called EduMedia or EduMedia. It's short for uh, education and media. It's a blend, right? Uh, it's called Omedia, which would make sense. And it has right now more than 20 professors, either full-time or uh, as consultants, right, in consultation. And these are spread out through several countries. And one of their projects recently was the establishment of communication with about 1500 or more universities across the globe to work for them right to work with them rather for uh an endorsement to academy and also perhaps even that we may even endorse the university so it's a uh communicative uh, collaborative kind of a thing and it'll be a win-win there is also a proposal uh in one country to use Academy as a default education platform, right? And the entire school system uses tablets, which makes perfect sense for us, for the country, right? Which has more than 110 million uh, population. So this means that we're gonna be part of the next generation of education, right? In very culturally innovative ways for a long, long time. And on passive is going to be able to revamp 
uh, global education, right? And he also knows, Mr. Mufar is also knowing and talking about white labeling products uh, or, you know, or just, you know, rebranding specific products for companies and such that don't actually need the on passive business solution. So he's, he's, he's including everybody. Now, Mr. Mufar also talked about innovation labs. We've talked about those, but he gave us some more information, right? Um, he said that there's two of them are already done. Uh, there's one of them that is AI and futuristic technology. It's for identifying needs, right? To develop solutions, see what we can be creating rather as solutions, really high tech stuff. Uh, there's another one that has to do with physical products. And this particular Inno Lab has got two branches in different companies, not, uh, excuse me, countries. Now, one of those um, is a specific sector, and the other is about revolutionizing products that are made from fossil fuels or uh, by replacing some of these products uh, with much better alternatives. And there should be another innovation lab opened in October in another country that is going to be focused on behavioral aspects of children. So that's going to be rolling out too. Now, in the next 60 days or so, we're going to see a lot of marketing carried out at the uh, global level by on passive, soon to be the greatest company on the planet, obviously. And we're going to have events on at least four continents. We're also going to see some massive branding and marketing starting in India with paid advertising campaigns and such. And just to kind of, Keep us mindful that On Passive is a giving, uh, heart-led company. I got four quotes here that I want to leave you with today that kind of uh, underscores um, On Passive's uh, mission, if you will, right? The first one is from St. Uh, uh, Francis of Assisi, and he said, quote, for it is in giving that we receive. Now, the second one, a little more home, uh, to more close to home for some of us is Leo uh, Tolstoy. And he says, the sole meaning of life is to serve humanity. And the next one, we'll all recognize this guy here, Winston Churchill. He says, we make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. And this one here kind of really sums it all up for me. It is a Chinese proverb that says, if you want happiness for an hour, go take a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you want happiness for life, help somebody. Thank you very much for listening. I really hope that you'll go down and check those links out. I hope that you have a wonderful on passive day and just know that no matter what you're doing or where you're going, we only wish blessing and blessing for you and your entire family for your entire future. Thank you. All right.